Hi loves, welcome to my channel. This mama loves Disney. Okay, so this is kind of, I ha had already in a video introduced that I was going to be sharing this with you, this uh, video. Um, this particular video is for Miss Susan Tootsie Tucker. Hey Susan! Okay, so her birthday was in uh, December and I am so late and I apologize, Susan. Um, I just... You know, I, I, I've talked to Susan, so she knows I've been super, super busy. Um, but, um, and I, like I mentioned before, my nails are a hot mess. Um, but I just wanted to show you and or I wanted to share with you what I made for Susan. <clears throat> okay, so first of all, um, I made this card for Susan. Um, it says uh, practically perfect and it says beautiful. It says such a happy day and it is themed for Mary Poppins. And, and some of you who may not know, it was so cute. But the first time I ever watched one of Susan's videos, uh, she was making umbrellas. And I had said that they were so adorable. Um, and that I would, it was, if it, I asked her if it was okay if I make those um, umbrellas um, because it, reminded me of Mary Poppins and she said she would be honored you know she looks at it as being honored when you want to do something that she's created so she I don't know what it is but she reminds me of Mary Poppins I absolutely adore her she is just the sweetest person and she's just so fun and I just I love her so this is the card I made for her um and then with the Oh my gosh, I couldn't tell you what collection it is, but I know it's a Mary Poppins collection. And inside it says, sending a spoonful of sugar. And that's another thing. I asked Susan, she sent me a card that said, sending a spoonful of sugar. And so she told me where to get that stamp. And sure enough, um, I ended up ordering it. So yeah, so that's the card I made for her. Um, it's a chunky card. As you can see, because I went ahead and added a little spoon and some flowers. So the way I am going to be probably presenting it, I'll probably tuck this sleeve inside there. And um, then I'll slide it in and then I'll put uh, a baggie around it so that it um, is presented just like this. Okay. Then I had some Mary Poppins ribbon. And I also had these little umbrellas that I ordered from Ali. I actually ordered both of these from AliExpress, the ribbon and the little um, umbrellas. I painted the umbrellas with black um, acrylic paint and just made her some uh, little uh, paper clips. Okay. Then I also, this is one of the AliExpress little um, um, dies. And it looks, I try to make it look like a carpet bag <laughs> I ended up putting felt um, patterned felt on it and I added a bow and I went ahead and added red bows um, to match um, the roses on the side and I kind of did because I have to do something with bling it's just it has to be like not bling but has to have like that fancy look so I did this glitter um, to match the background here and I ended up using uh, Lisa's idea. Hey, Lisa. She is uh, made new to create. So Lisa's idea, she um, bends back um, these paper clips and then makes a little hole, uh, makes a little, it makes a little hold, hole that holds um, charms. So I had some of these really cute umbrella charms that I had bought knowing, oh, I think I bought these sometime at the beginning of last year, knowing that I was going to use them for something that had to do with Mary Poppins. So I went ahead and made those. And my thought is to slip them in here and just like that. Okay, so that is her little prize that goes in there. Then I ended up picking up, I think these were to go around ice cream cones. Um, they are from, let me see, I think I might have some, hold on one sec, I do. Okay, so these are cone wraps and I had picked these up from the Target dollar spot, okay? And so I just went ahead and, um, yeah, oh gosh, are you guys, Please bear with me because I'm just like, I'm a hot mess right now. But um, I wanted to see if I'm shaking because I am kind of shaking. I'm just, I got so much going on. So 
I ended up um, just, I can't even think of the word right now. I ended up putting the pleats in them, okay? So I pleated it um, and I glued it on. I added some of these flowers that I had picked up from AliExpress. Um, I also picked up this large bow from AliExpress a while ago. And then I just used, used some pipe cleaner to have um, make the little handle come out. And my thought for this was these are just a couple little packages filled with some confetti. Um, not for confetti, sequins. I'm sorry. This is confetti. Okay, so I got some crowns. I got some birthday hats. And I have some little gems and sequins. And so my thought for this was to just tuck these in like this. Okay. And I'm going to stick it in a bag. And yeah, so that's like a little umbrella full of goodies. Okay. So then... The next thing that I created for her was, um, we'll just do this first. Um, Misty, hey Misty, I got this idea from Misty. She has been creating different words and um, she usually lines them with um, um, some form of paper and then she decorates them. Okay, so what I did with this was um, I had the rolled paper that is from Hobby Lobby. I was looking if, to see if I have it, but I don't. I've already taken it downstairs. But um, so I lined it with some roll paper from Hobby Lobby. And Susan's just like me. We love tons of color. Um, we love lots of color. And um, so I went ahead and tried to add flowers that had the same colors um, in the backgrounds. So I got these little felt, um, uh, not felt, uh, velvet. I got these little velvet flowers from Tuesday morning. This ribbon, um, goodness, I want to say, I think it's from Hobby Lobby. And then I just went around with some glossy accents and added some, um, little gold beads to this. And in it says, um, blessed. I don't know if you can see that but yeah so I made that for Susan I haven't put a backing on it yet um, Misty kind of gave me an idea of what to do and I just haven't had the chance to do it yet so I have that then I also made her this little mini album and it says cherry disposition and it has Mary Poppins in there. And then I got one of these Tim Holtz little spoons. And then I just went ahead and added some, um, ooh, um, oh my God, stickles. I just added some stickles in there. And then on the side, it has the little um, ad for the nanny. And then just a little banner piece. And then a flower. And then the back just has the carousel on the back. Okay, and then on the side, I used this idea from Armin. Hey, Armin! She is Happy Mail Queen. I love all the little uh, details that Armin always puts in all of her uh, little creations. So she ha I, it was great because it has a little chain here. So that means that um, these little folders that are in here, if you put pictures on them or whatever you slip in here, you'll have room. Um, to put different things and this little chain will help hold everything inside there so it won't go all, all over the place so it just cl has a um, claw clasp okay so then there's the umbrella and it opens up and there's little pockets to slip stuff in and so I just use some of the collection pieces from the chipboard the chipboard collection pieces and then this is just a um, one of the, uh, this is from a different collection, just had a whole bunch of different umbrellas on it, and I just thought that was perfect. And then it has some little openings. This is another one of those little pockets to slip little things in there, little pictures, and then some more pieces. And then, of course, another one of those pullouts. Um, there's some more little places to put slip little things and add pictures if you want. Okay, and then I just put little jimmies on each tip. And they just open up like that. And then I just decorated the back with a carousel and a little flower. Okay, so that is her mini album. And of course, Mary Poppins mini album. 
And then I have one more thing. And this is actually Susan's creation. So during Christmas time, Susan had found these um, holders. Um, there, I think they were supposed to be like a coin holder. And it actually said something on it. And she taught all of us how to scratch the wording off with um, a razor blade. And then she lined them with lights. And so this is a creation I came up with for Susan. Um, it's so funny because when you, when you don't have something, it is so nice to find something that you know could actually, um, you can replace or add instead. So the back of these were from um, a die cut that was supposed to be the tops of ice creams and I thought they looked like clouds. So I went ahead and used glitter paper to make it look like little clouds. I have this um, die that is Mary Poppins, looks like a, and I try to make it look like a silhouette, like she's floating away. And then these are Maggie Holmes um, flourish pieces that are um, the chipboard pieces right here. And then I had some of this ribbon in my stash, so I went ahead and just added some of this ribbon, and I just kind of crinkled it here and there. Now, Susan, if you do receive this and it's, it's smashed, it does have wire in it, so you can go ahead and, um, you know, just reform it. So, yeah, so on the back, I ended up Velcroing it on the back, um, and so this is how it turns on just like that. Isn't that cute, guys? So yeah, so these were from Dollar Tree. Susan had found them at Dollar Tree, and I had told her it was so funny because after she did her video, I had seen them at Dollar Tree um, before she did her video, but I had no idea whatsoever how to get the words off until I saw her video. And it's so funny because I had made one previously, which was a shaker, and it had Baloo and Mowgli from Jungle Book. And there was a word that was going across the glass. And I ended up putting Mowgli and Baloo across the words because I had no idea how to remove them. Um, and I had made a shaker out of a frame too. So yeah, so this is really super cute. This is Susan's idea. So I thought I would do something that had to do with Mary Poppins. And that's what I came up with. And then I was I had this little... This little tiny umbrella, and I was going to try to figure out how to get that to stay on there, but I don't have um, uh, a jump ring that's the same color as this, and it just, I don't think it will work, so I don't know. We'll see. I may send it with Susan and let Susan figure it out, because I know Susan probably has jump rings that are this color, so um, I like I said, I may just send that with, her, with it, but yeah, so this is my creation for Susan. Happy belated birthday, girl. Love you so much. And um, I hope you like all the little crafty ideas that I came up with just for you. And um, and I'm going to package this up with some goodies that I also made. I was told you I was behind for Christmas uh, stuff um, and didn't have a chance to get my Christmas stuff out at the same time. So there were a few things that I ended up putting together that I had already started. I finished putting them together. So I'm going to add them to this package too. So um, and that'll be in the next video. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed all the little I, I crafting um, ideas that I came up for Susan. And I will see you guys on the next video. Okay, have a great day. Bye guys.